on top, putting everything you said into one piece. So just let me briefly introduce once again myself. I'm Aysara Manolskaya and I'm a physician uh, based here in one of our UK care centers here in Berlin. And I personally come from a background of non-governmental organizations. Therefore, I have witnessed the incredible, although sometimes hidden, uh, work and the impact that the patient's or patient organizations can actually have. Now, if you were to ask patients, as we, as we have today witnessed, who are dealing with chronic diseases, you would likely hear a resounding chorus that patient organizations are one of the primary pillars of their journey throughout the life with a medical condition. But we sometimes forget to see how do we as physicians per perceive these organizations. And I was thinking about it quite a while, and I thought that the best analogy allowing you to understand my feeling towards the patient organization is a bridge. You need for every organization where each of organi organization serves a vital and unique mission connecting various stakeholders involved in patient care. From individual patients, as well as physicians, to policymakers, pharmaceutical industry, researchers, social caregivers, and many more. But for us, as a physicians, patient organizations should be and are more than connectors. They are also the reflection of our work. The issues um, and the advocacy efforts undertaken by patient organizations, as well as educational gaps that they are trying to fill, oftentimes highlight the areas that demand our attention as physicians, where we need to put the extra mile. And we know very well that the healthcare is a very complex ecosystem that we're dealing here with that extends far beyond the services provided by a single physician or healthcare provider. And in this complex mechanism, a collaboration among all involved parties is essential and patient organizations are among our closest allies as a physicians, and we are more than happy to have them on board. And it was once said that engaging patients collectively in health policy decision-making is the right and one of the best ways forward to ensure that those policies, new practices, and new things that we implement in our daily healthcare system can actually reflect the real needs uh, and preference of the real people and the real patients. Therefore, representation of patient organizations is extremely important. And those are not only words, because people do want to have more influence when it comes to their healthcare and their diseases. If we look at the statistics, 40% of people would like to be more involved in the decision about their care. Moreover, the patients that are already involved in patient organizations are almost 30% more likely to be actively engaged in managing their health and making informed decisions about their care. According to all the healthcare standards and healthcare quality concepts, patient-centeredness, education, empowerment are recognized as key components in improving the quality of our services, of physician services. And being a part of patient organizations actually give the feeling and the sense of empowerment to the patient. And this leads to a common and shared responsibility. It's very crucial, and I want to highlight it um, that and clarify that this isn't about shifting the responsibility completely for the treatment outcomes onto the patients or their organizations. Quality healthcare is a two-way street and all about the mutual efforts from both sides. We, as healthcare Practitioners can learn a great deal from the patients and patient organizations, particularly when it comes to understanding the impact of the disease beyond its clinical symptoms. Collaborating with patients organizations is something that enables us to comprehend the better impact of the disease towards the quality of life on our patients. And we are oftentimes reminded that the quality of life and the disease impact goes way beyond than the control of the symptoms. It's also related with emotional well-being, social, social relationship, and it's equally important as the control of the disease. And patients do receive those tools in patient organizations, and they do best know how to do that. Therefore, we, as a physician, can enjoy and have a fulfilling, strong, and equal partnership between us doctors and informed, powerful patients that are actively taking part in shared decision-making. This cute package enable us to provide tailored care for our patients meeting their individual needs. 
patients are oftentimes the forefront for advocating for innovative treatment and research funding. Patient organizations do remind us the importance of staying updated and thriving for the latest developments that should be available for our patients, as well as the patient organizations are one of the best partners collaborating to facilitate epidemiological, basic science, or clinical level, uh, clinical trial level research. All of that allowing us better shape the future care of our patients disease awareness. It's a pivotal in ensuring a patient's holistic well-being and empowering them to lead their lifestyle regardless of disease. Alone, as a physician, we would be never able to achieve that. And last but not least, effective teamwork allows us to reach the pinnacle of healthcare's main goal, improved healthcare outcomes. We see the lower societal and personalized disease burdens, improved patient satisfaction, more more efficiently distributed healthcare costs, and a stronger voice advocating for our patients on the political stage. All of this driving systemic change and shaping the future of our patient care, only thanks to the good and effective collaborations. So there you have it. Patient organizations are not only the support groups, they are powerhouses of knowledge, advocacy, and positive change. Patients are very important and patient organizations are one of the best partners for every physician. When patients join these organizations, they are not only empower themselves, but also contribute to the overall improvement of healthcare quality, research, and the policy. So as you have might already understood, it's a win-win situation for patients and healthcare as a whole. And as a physician, I wholeheartedly believe that strengthening these relationships and fostering collaboration can actually improve more lives and do so more efficiently. And for my fellow colleagues, I encourage you highly to shift your attention a little bit more towards your local patient organizations, show them to your patients and encourage them to join. You'll see a mutual benefit. I thank you for your attention, and I truly believe that these type of stories, um, these type of webinars do put uh, into a different type of perspective all the You Care for You activities. And I thank you, first of all, uh, for my lovely panelists for sharing your experiences.